Hi everybody, um, back again with another really cool Mustang. This is a 1971 Boss 351. Uh, they only made 1,806 of these cars. This car was factory blue with blue deluxe interior. Factory Magnum 500 car. The wheels and uh, the wheels are original. This car has a really cool old patina on it. The car runs and drives great. Just had uh, a tune up on the engine. Brand new gas tank, new fuel pump, plugs, rebuilt carburetor, uh, full new exhaust. Well, almost full from the manifolds back with flow masters. Go ahead and show you the VIN R code. It's got the original door sticker on it. And the buck tag. Now this is obviously not a show car, but it is a running and driving car and it runs really strong. These Boss 351 motors were Seem like some of the the best performance motors that Ford ever built. It's got the 8K tack. Uh, just put some brand new carpet in it. Somebody has added AC and a rear window defroster, four speed. Some wild uh, plaid blue vinyl seats there. Now the headliner is not in it, but I do have a brand new headliner. It did, it has a fold down rear seat. I mean, the car is very complete. Let me get the keys, I'll open the trunk. Door shut good. This car was a, uh, a non-spoiler car, but somebody added a spoiler. It's got the factory gas cap. Boss 351 letters coming off a little bit. Now the trunk area does need attention, but it has a uh, new trunk mat, but tail light panel on the trunk floor. The trunk lid is in excellent, excellent condition. see the lines in the rear window that in there's some old paperwork that was in the glove box really cool old patina on the car I think when uh, when the car was converted to AC, they had taken the dash pad and some other items from another AC car and dash and replaced it. But get this hood open. All right, so still got the Ram Air components on the bottom of the hood. Still has the rubber seal. Original fan shroud. You can see where somebody added AC. Uh, just had the brakes serviced. Power steering works good on the car. I did verify the VIN on the back of the engine block. It does match. There's the uh, Boss 351 intake. Got the correct, it's all the, it's the original motor. <clears throat> There's the buck tag. The car does still have the uh, nodular nine inch 31 spline rear end, which you can, uh, I left this center cap out. I have all four center caps, but you can see there's the 31 spline axles, the nodulars in it, the original transmission is not in the car, but it's been changed to a Rug-AE2 
a close ratio one and three eighths input shaft uh, top loader for a Boss 429 or a 428 Cobra Jet car. So in my opinion, that is an upgrade. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and start the car. It's been raining here today. Try to start it without pumping it. There you go. Tachometer works. Oil pressure gauge works. Alternator. It does not have the original carburetor that was long gone and the rev limiter is gone but I did verify and I have pictures of the, the matching number engine it's stamped back on the back of the motor these engines were 11 to 1 compression. Really hot motors. This car actually runs really good. Just had the brand new exhaust put on it uh, two days ago. Take a video of it driving for you. It's got new auto light plug wires on it. New master cylinder. Like I said, the car runs, drives, and stops great. It's got an aftermarket clutch in it. Uh, it's got a blow-proof bell housing. That the clutch is a little stiff. I'd say they uh, they they raced the car a little bit and upgraded the clutch in it, but but it does shift good. All right, so I'll take a driving video. 